secret weapon to keep you sane while raising a puppy. And that weapon is called what I call the satiation method. So there's a lot of ways to deal with jumping, nipping, and chewing things up. Okay, there's the dog jumps on you, you turn your back, right? I've talked about it. I've done videos on that method. There is when they jump and they nip, you redirect them. So you take a toy, they're jumping and nipping on you, and instead of jumping and nipping on me, dog, go ahead and jump and nip and play tug of war with this toy. Also a fine method, that's called the redirection method. But there's one method that's almost never talked about, but I talk about it with all of my clients. It's called the satiation method. It's very normal and natural for your dog to chew on things and nip at you. Now, does that mean we want it to happen? Absolutely not. We can't let it happen. We're, people come out here all the time and they have bite marks all over their arms because they're puppies, little needle teeth. We have to fix that problem. And it is satiation. What is satiation? Satiation is giving them stuff proactively to sort of get them over that behavior. Okay, We're going to give them things to use their jaws on. We are going to give them things to jump on because you're not going to stop it. Your dog is going to do it. So we might as well give them appropriate things to do it on and satiate the behavior, or we're gonna sit there and go, oh my God, I'm turning my back and the dog keeps jumping on me. Or, oh my God, the dog keeps chewing on the edge of the furniture and I just go and I try to redirect with the toy, but it's still doing it. It's going to happen. It's kind of like the terrible twos for kids. Nobody, when their kid gets to the terrible twos, do they go, do they go, oh my God, like they kind of understand that this phase is going to happen and but they have to get through this phase so we're not going to just let it happen but we're going to do a unique method to deal with it and that's called satiation so here's how this works they are going to chew on things and plus we don't want to be just constantly punishing our dog puppies don't understand punishment same reason we don't punish babies right older dogs you can be like that's wrong here's your punishment punishment doesn't mean bad things it can mean a look it can be a lot of things it doesn't need to be bad but puppies don't get it their little puppy brains don't get it so we need to satiate that behavior so chewing i'm a big fan of satiating the chewing and people are always like yeah i give bully sticks yeah i give this i give that but i'm talking give it all the time all the time have different things my criteria for a good chew toy is it's safe it's reinforcing and long lasting there's only three things i believe fit that bill food filled frozen kongs bully sticks and marrow bones that's it i don't think there's that many things that are safe reinforcing and long lasting bosco margo come here so we're gonna these are puppies in there probably they're being good but in, at home or this age these dogs are jumping and nipping at home and it can be really bad. So look at what these guys are gonna do. They're gonna sit here and they're gonna work those jaws and they're gonna work them and work them. And then when they're done with that, maybe we're gonna even give them something else. Maybe in two hours after that, we're gonna give them a food filled frozen Kong. When I first had my first dog, we filled up four Kongs with wet food and froze it every day. When my dog was this age, he was getting half his diet from food from these Kongs. There's no rule that says you have to feed your dog twice a day out of a bowl. Make them work for it. Okay, so this is the chewing satiation method. Constant good things to work those jaws on so they're not working the jo those jaws on your baseboards. Something like this, not a bad idea. It's not that reinforcing, but it's something. And these, these are fun to play with. These aren't a thing that they're gonna sit there and just work on and work those jaws and satiate themselves. All right. That's the satiation method as it comes to chewing on furniture and chewing on your shoes. There's two parts of the satiation method. The other part is the jumping and nipping. So I want these dogs and all puppies to satiate themselves on other dogs. Cause guess who doesn't really care about jumping? Other dogs. We're gonna see it right now. So we're gonna let out their buddy Connery. So there's mouthing, there's licking, there's jumping, there's Fighting. There's all these things that Connery doesn't care about, but we care about. And usually the puppies are way more with him. That's why I used him. And we'll show it if they do. But you have to let them play with dogs. When they get to the point where they're okay with dogs vaccination wise. Watch these guys. Look at these guys. These guys are doing on him what you don't want them to do to you. And you can either fight this. You can either use the turnaround method and use all these different methods or 
you can let them do it on, it's gonna happen. They're gonna do this on something. They're gonna do this, these two puppies are gonna do this behavior on something. Is it gonna be you or is it gonna be Conroy? It's gonna happen. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't other solutions to this, but I'm telling you, you have to satiate this behavior. In this early stage of life, when these puppies don't even, they're not that smart, not these guys, but any puppies that four months, they, they're not that smart. The, your punishment isn't gonna get through to them if you don't do it well, and most owners don't do it well. You have to just let them do the behavior on the appropriate things, then they come home and they do it on you less, and they do it on your six-year-old daughter less, and her dress going behind them, because they just did it on a dog for an hour or two hours, all right? That is, now you cannot, I sit here and I tell this to my clients all the time and they love it, but they're like, I don't, I can't get with dogs every day. You don't need to do this every day. You're not gonna get your dog with dogs every day. You're not gonna take them to a dog park at this young, but look at this. But what about three times a week? How about that? How about twice a week? It's gonna have an effect. Your dog's gonna nip and jump on you less the rest of that day, then into the next day. Then you're gonna have jumping maybe that day then they're back with dogs last less then they're back with dogs it carries over into the next day again this is jumping and nipping is so natural that you have to give them an outlet for it that's not on you you have to do it you have to satiate them satiation is what no one thinks of okay and it's not exercise a lot of people think the behavior goes away because of exercise it's not exercise it's satiation it's giving them appropriate things to do it on this is going to happen to you if it's not having a dog does he care this dog doesn't care now some dogs do care but this guy doesn't care you've got to find those dogs okay all right that's called the satiation method it can change your life if you use it and you do it right it's one of the pieces of the puzzle to deal with jumping nipping and chewing up uh shoes and uh um legs of chairs all right so Use that.